and welcome back guys to the turn base chronicles and the last time we were winning a huge amount of battles but not really so we just have to press the enter button and we are done with this turn actually so let's move on so uh, first of all so i've changed the resolution because i have a problem that the um, the program i'm using to record uh, camtasia has certain problems with uh, this game in particular because i'm having like massive massive file sizes and, and doesn't it doesn't it, it has like inconsistency count I mean constantly <laughs> like inconsistency of some kind that like sometimes you have huge files for a small uh, time frame of the video or I don't know sometimes it's totally crap and I'm gonna just test with this video and see how it goes with how long the video will last I have no idea but still doesn't really matter let's just go on and move on and see how this is gonna go so I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit just to get a little bit old better view of the entire position and see if, if this actually works with this resolution this is 1024 by 607 6, 768 resolution so this is the classical I'm, I was using 1280 so anyway uh, let's see yeah we have to end the turn though we can move the Zephyr bird here we have the Zephyr bird of pure evil the problem with the Zephyr bird is that I'm using it as a scout because as you can see the Julia is moving her army towards my location probably and he, she wants war we know that she has said we want war against you so we're gonna well, well accept of course but the thing is I'm moving my main force it was guarding the but that was very close of course to my main um, main my queen that is my main leader my main city we're moving to capture this city this human city which I would love to see the name Almeral. As soon as I take that, I will return it hopefully in time to defend the city. If Julia move, moves all her armies towards us. But again, we'll see. Probably she will. But again, the, the, the terrain she's using is treacherous. There are no roads towards us. So all in all, she'll have to pass all these trees, right? And then she'll have to pass all these mountains before reaching us. So that will cut a huge chunk of movement points for her. Okay, so that's good right there. So let's move on and end the turn and see how this is gonna go. Also, we have orcs on s in sight. Let me just check for in case. Okay, I have him. And I, of course, have my witch that actually did want to capture that uh, tower. So we can see stuff here. Of course, we have seen the goblin city here. We see some gold. We see some hobbits. We did see, of course, that before also, by the way. But now we have a tower and constant view towards those areas. So let's end the turn, and that's about it. And hopefully everything's gonna go okay. But I'm worried about those ships. They are moving ever so closely to my borders, to my main cities. And okay, we definitely can see the numbers. So they have okay, okay. So all the ships would have not one number one. That means that uh, they're just a ship that is the galley itself. So I don't have to worry about anything else. And as you can see, quick bell. Uh, okay, so these guys wanna shoot, eh? Uh, okay, so that yes because this thing this cannon actually can damage us So I'll try and manual this thing and hopefully it's gonna be okay uh, the, the only thing that can attack us is the cannon I think uh, Because this thing can't attack magic strike. Oh, maybe maybe no magic strike bestows them dam magic damage So let's try and kill him Before he can actually shoot up close or avoid him for now behind these trees utilize the trees as a cover and let's see how he's gonna go and then we'll of course gonna attack him no okay 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 as you can see I can definitely go here hide because if I get overly too close I might get damaged by this monster thankfully strangely enough the elves having cannons is kind of problematic Oh, uh, maybe be behind this. No, I'm gonna stay here for now. Uh, okay, I can't end my turn, it would seem. Or round. Uh, round five. Oh, wait, they're not even moving. Oh, so they don't wanna shoot. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna attack and try it then. It would seem I'm pressing and they're not doing anything. So now they should be able to fire and missed. Excellent. Now this could give me an advantage. If I did not miss the target, but he's that close, he, and he can kill me, mind you, very easily here. Oh my god, I can't believe the Zephyr bird is missing so many times. Uh, I can't run away, mind you, because in the old, in Age of Wonders 1, at least you had like arrows pointing on the edge of the screen where you can run away with your armies, retreat 
like that and that's okay he died that's okay i didn't expect that to be honest but that's okay they definitely are getting closer so at least we know that the enemy will try something very evil against my empire so first and foremost i'm going to be moving these guys and get them onto the shores here excellent excellent she will rejoin these armies and maybe we can talk oh, we can talk with these guys okay so we'll definitely win my probably they're scared shitless because we're moving in that's a great thing okay i'm leaving my galley there we have of course the julia's own galley here or ship how are you gonna call this thing what is it transport ship well galley transport ship what the fuck same thing to me uh, and also they have some soldiers here hmm of course this is where my ship is i'm gonna just scout around i have another zephyr but mind you i did uh build another one that is summon another one so that's all good and, and nice and let's see into these forest areas so there is an orc encampment again orcs everywhere so this is probably the main owned by the orcs but to be honest they already have a lot of stuff as you can see they all have that they have this city here so the point of this entire map is of course to destroy your enemies and that's it so you know like be awesome and that's about it uh let's see what can we do here uh let's just move on and see if we can at least uh, steal something from these guys if they did not already uh, taken if they have not already taken every single gold piece or mana around of course as again these two gold pieces are guarded by one of the evil uh, uh, frostlings uh, who can actually target your air unit so all in all uh, we can't really do much against them uh, okay so my main army with my hero I have no idea what the hell I'm doing oh yes I'm a building army preparing for war I want to destroy these bastards and then move on so we shall see how this is gonna go Okay, so I think they will be attacking the Zephyr. Okay, they can't attack the Zephyr, bro. With this. Now, remember that... Uh, yeah, remember that... Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa. Okay, they captured the magic relay from me. Okay, so definitely, as you can see, they're going for me. You know, they're gonna... Okay, your stupidity knows no bounds for you. have pushed me to war. Well, that's okay. Nobody cares for you. I guess we, we got too close to there territory so oh well let's see okay so yeah julia captured uh, my mind excellent for her i guess and now what we have to do is capture the sws boss because they actually did move overly too close and uh, fast so i have to finish this as fast as possible uh for yeah uh <laughs> yeah no uh quick combat yeah, i lost two units really oh my god just oh my god oh my god i just lost my main army uh well that's kind of bad fall back god this is bad this is going already bad and this is really the beginning we don't even have a force to guard uh, here uh eh. Yeah, they might actually reach us with everything here before we can even get close to the queen herself. Oh, this is bad. Mm. Uh, so now finally I got one of the raiders. I could try to attack these bad because uh, these guys will retake my town as soon as possible. So that's all very bad. <laughs> these guys will attack the town. I don't think they have any units that can actually... Uh, climb over walls, but we do not have any walls in this town at the moment. As far as my, if I'm not mistaken, no, we have no walls at all. So all in all, yeah. Oh wait, we do have a stone wall. My bad. We have a stone wall. I do not see the stone wall, mind you, but it's there, I guess. So I guess if they have nothing that can actually cover over the wall, go over the wall, I think, or destroy the wall, we might do stuff. But I do not remember if one of their scouting parties here has any ability to do that. Let me check this for in case. Uh, yeah, charge forest. Oh, yes, I did forget. Yeah, any of them can actually go. Well, open the gates, that is, by uh, kicking them hard, that is. Because, of course, in Age of Wonders 2, they've changed the ability for you to 
siege the cities compared to the first one in the way that you can actually just destroy the gates any with any unit which is totally shit and i totally like one of the big minuses for me in this game uh, alongside with the music of course uh, so yeah okay so all in all we're kind of screwed and we might not we might actually even lose our main city because of all this bullcrap they're moving in with i would say quite strong force i mean they have two unicorns now mind you they are awesome and sexy uh and yeah i mean yeah this could be quite problematic for me i don't think i have any magic that can actually uh, do as a, a global magic that is maybe haste um on some of these units <laughs> I don't know how this will actually work. I think I have to click on any of the units that is actually is not a boat. Have no idea. Uh, I'm gonna move her at least. Oh, she? No way. She? Can. Okay. We'll just wait for this turn. Hope that we can survive whatever attacks us now, because these guys might actually reach this and uh, even do plenty of damage because I only have like three units in total alongside the hero itself so yeah there goes that humans cheerful I'm gonna keep the humans um, and go for the I think yeah because we're yeah well, I think we have good enough money to uh, spam a little bit of our defenses yeah and we have a stone wall mind you so all good stuff and okay one crossbow I guess better get for the crossbowman actually a, and like cancel him cancel him go with the crossbowman because again they're they're gonna be there just to defend not reinforce anyone at the moment so after that if we survive these first incursions of the elves into our territory then maybe we're gonna concentrate on offensive Ugh. again we have plus 112 gold income 49 onto the mana and I'm barely using my mana one turn left to actually utilize okay one turn left uh, to actually be able to utilize the haste kill for my units but again quite wasteful i would say uh, let's see enchant weapon yeah mm. i'm gonna actually go with enchant weapon fuck the haste because i'm gonna be immediately attacked if i be able to do this enchant any of the weapons inside this uh, main town of mine um, it would be helpful very much so mm. oh well Still, the losses that we have gained in the last uh, vid well video, that is the, the last battle that we had for that little town, well, the main town there, uh, will definitely be problematic in the long run. And especially at this point, we're being attacked by Julius' forces, and I have nothing to defend the main city with. So this could be the end of the beginning, right there like uh, because if i lose the tower itself i don't have the wizard tower so uh, there has to be a new cavalcade i don't know how this actually works because this is the first time actually getting this involved yeah and as you can see the <laughs> the ballista is trying to get close to my zephyr because it is the only unit that can attack the funny thing actually i could have destroyed all those orc forces hmm yeah could have done that actually so as you can see they're trying to capture everything every single uh, thing i have it would seem so they're not forcing themselves onto my walls so that gives me uh quite about a little bit of time to reinforce every garrison i have and ray pillage and burn julius forces immediately i will just charge with everything i have okay so these units i think will be capable of defeating whatever they have now the thing is the longbowmen they are the best thing out there let's see their uh, archer skill attack uh, eight damage four three shots again these are the elves so i'm presuming that they're uh, they're uh, much uh, precise in terms of how they're gonna shoot well well, well where their those arrows are gonna go that is so you can see elves are naturally skilled archers experienced elven longbowmen are considered magicians to all who wield the bow stories abound of them skewering multiple targets with a single shot and of deflecting the arrows of an enemy with their own whether exaggerated or not there can be no doubt that if your armor has a single weak point an elven arch can find it so i guess only one mind you i'm not worrying about the scout too much a glade runner 
Ooh, so here's a concealment. Veg we need vegetation of any on any terrain that is okay. Uh, has five, four, and four defense. Uh, Glade Runners are the Elven Infantry, trained to protect their forest homes with uh, their lives. Their culture considers every Elven life precious, so Glade Runners are trained to strike quickly, then retreat back to safety of the deep forest. When the frustrated enemy has given up pursuit and cursed them as cowards, the Runners return to attack again. The more brutish races scoff at the perceived dishonor of these tactics. But to an elf, the greatest dishonor is a pointless death. So I'm guessing not strong, as you can see, uh, the defense is uh, by two points less than under the regular swordsman of the elven army. So I'm not presuming too much, but uh, she has a seducing ability of any unit, attempts to take control of any unit in combat. So this, this I would say she and the archer are the two most deadliest things in the arsenal here. Now the problem is that I have okay I have two cannons that no way she can seduce those but I have like three units here that are not the best freaking thing and two two freaking shot uh, throwers that means two archers and one raider which I don't know why I'm not building uh, shot throwers in any way <laughs> because I really don't need them I need to get close and personal so I'm gonna actually try and kill these bastards as fast as possible then uh, try my best. Uh, to get um, towards the main city again. The point is to destroy Julia. She's my first target to destroy. Okay, almost close to the main city, like almost. But I think I can destroy these bastards fairly quickly. Because as uh, soon as I can join these two teams, I will attack the elves. I'm not gonna. I mean, the Truid. Hmm control animal entangle and they have like two scout cavalry which have a damage attack that is the attack of 10 and damage of 7 again much better than any of my things right yeah 9-7 well actually these two might be the key thing here but again only them themselves not much I can hope for that is mm, if I go with the snow queen herself that's no queen that is the snow witch I might actually do this nicely okay I moved accidentally mind you all that all those armies so if these guys want to get here we're kind of fucked anyway so there goes that uh, okay so there's a mixed click there and could be fail for myself there but thankfully we're building swordsmen th there <coughs> on the middle island here so at least uh, that's safe for now at least one sword I'm gonna defend against all those orcs uh, let's see what can be moved okay you can move I might actually ask again for an alliance with the archons because they're the only thing now and I mean the only thing close to an ally I have hopefully I'm not gonna go into their territories at all so I'm just gonna scour other things around and again I could probably have killed all those bastard orcs there with the Zephyr bird because they can't attack ground uh, that is none of them can attack air that's why they were moving moving the ballista so <laughs> so uh, uh, you know like that's just one of those things man one of those things that I missed but that's okay so uh, the, the good thing is for them of course Julius is she's taking my well power node and my mind that this bastard is actually going for the windmills that's the thing what they're doing here <laughs> with this force I can easily kill uh, whatever they have here these guys will return to the queen herself then guard her with her with their life that is and as you can see I'm building uh, another shard troll which is totally stupid to be honest but again we have uh, walls and I want to utilize the archers on those walls and I think that's it I, uh, yeah these guys will stay on guard forever and that's it so I have a peacekeeper in 17 turns uh, yeah that's gonna take a while enchant weapon is ready which actually I'm gonna give them if possible I don't know how this actually works uh, select target location uh, for enchant weapon on a map okay I did how the hell does this work actually the enchant weapon thing am I supposed to click on the specific thing the spell are you okay 
Set the target location. Hmm. Nope. I have no idea how this thing works. <laughs> you honestly like uh, yeah. I want them to get like nope. Oh okay, okay, sorry, I didn't notice that you actually choose which unit you cast upon. I was hoping that would be for all the units, not on one. Uh well, I guess him, and oh, I can actually choose, but it costs mana. Oh, well, that's okay. I'll choose them all. Uh, not enough casting points. Okay, I have 30 casting points. This costs 40. Okay, I'm gonna use them. Okay, because again, they are the next thing that is gonna be attacking. And again, we have the jet weapon, plus one attack and plus one damage, and the magic strike. Let's see how this is gonna go. Of course, we have to wait a turn. Now, maybe I go for the haste. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with a haste and drop that also and hurry up a little bit because I think that's gonna give us um, a little bit of boost in the move points. So let's see. There are definitely few mistakes I've done in this one, uh, like losing that Zephyr but not noticing the enemy does have cannons and they're definitely moving onto the goblin territory there, closing up to my positions. But that's quite understandable being that this is a very small map actually. Um, so, and plus, there's only surface access, so, yeah. Okay, they're definitely falling back now. Those little bitches, but we're gonna be chasing them now. We're gonna be chasing them with everything we have. But first and foremost, I'll retake that power node from those bastards. Here. Okay. Okay, oh, Belandor has reached level 2. Belandor is awesome. Belandor is in a great time because we're getting close to that elven party, which needs to be annihilated. So we can now finally look at the leveling screen. Uh, so let's see, defense plus 1, attack plus 1, or block. Um, I'm gonna go with defense or attack. Uh, blocking, uh, okay, plus 5 defense when facing any physical ranged attack. Or the first enemy melee stroke. This blocking is not bad, actually. I'm gonna go with blocking then, because it gives us a lot. Okay. Next, okay, haste is done. I'm gonna use that immediately upon our forces. Uh, okay, total mana. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it would seem, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna put it on them. I'm gonna put it here, actually here on this a shard thrower or whatever he is yeah shard thrower i'm gonna put on him cast he's gonna be if, if the case is doing what i think he's done he does i so he might actually have more turns now case reduce the cost of each hex moved by one okay to as low as two movement points okay so yeah excellent so he will be moving yeah, yeah. Now I don't know. I forgot who actually moves with what color. Uh, let's see. Okay, excellent. Exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. Excellent, excellent. So we we'll utilize him to recapture our stuff and uh, concentrate cap capturing this. Finally, this one chaos note has four units that are quite dangerous but with the witch itself and plus with the enchantment that will last until the unit actually dies I think so all in all we have a good thing there ah the zephyr burn at least we're gonna spam zephyr birds maybe a little bit and recapture these stuff as long as they're unguarded capture their minds and be evil like that so let's see Okay, I can't really do much with this transport ship except just patrolling the entire area. Maybe get some alliances going, but I don't think we'll be having those alliances anytime soon. Okay, exactly like we're that close and we can't do anything. That's okay. That's okay. You guys will be on guard. I guess, uh, again, I will be building my army first and foremost. Uh, Snowscaper. As you can see, Snowscaper is not that strong, but compared to the Raider, it's only... But again, I'm gonna go only with Raider and miss the Snowscaper as, like, they're nothing. I prefer to get a little bit more damage in, in attack then, and of course the defense also. Big defense on the Raiders, mind you. Uh, that's 7 defense and 4 on the Snowscaper. So Snowscaper are definitely the worst of the kind we can utilize. 
Uh, so I'm just gonna spam them and shot throwers and uh, maybe one wolf rider down the line. The thing is, I may be utilizing over too many, may building too many units, but I definitely need to secure these areas and then transport them uh, onto the mainland where I can uh, conquer Julia, because that's gonna be my main focus. I'm worried about the orcs, but hell's bells, what can I do? What can I do? Except mass a huge amount of units, even more. I'm thankful that these cities are actually uh, have the immediate upgrade of the heavy stone defenses, that is the stone walls, so that's good. And I think that's it. Let's see what's gonna go. How it's gonna go. So Archon's moving in. I'm definitely there. They okay. So they they wanted to maybe take that gold. As you can see, the orcs are recapturing everything they have wanted to do with Zephyr. But and they're again having some kind of thing. They did not capture the city, mind you. They did not capture the city. They're the humans, I think, the blue ones. And they're of course uh, the some kind of lizard man. What the fuck are those things? I have no idea. Yeah, as you can see, Julia is moving on, but I will definitely attack her main settlement as soon as possible. Uh, first him, capture that. Excellent. Excellent. And, oh, wow, he can actually rejoin the main army. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. Okay, we have Shira, who is offering her services for 125 gold. And what is she? Okay, Bard skill improves the morale of all units in the party. Forestry allows the unit to travel through forest with all oh, this is beautiful. A cat woman. And sexy one at that, I would say. Night version spell casting one. Okay, good. And healing shower heals three to five health points to all units in the area. Uh, Shira is an old cat. Oh, she's an old woman. Has mothered half a dozen litters of tigrant children prior to becoming a Bard adventurer. She spent her nights singing an old, the most popular song to her children at night. Morning, evening, midday, and the 12 other times that the tiger children find time to nap. And she soon fell in love with the notion of becoming a hero herself. She has learned a rather lengthy list of nursery rhymes and Hawaiian songs. Her companions regard her as a motherly figure. They often forget their differences and trust Shira to take care of them. Shira mothers her troops seeing that they remain cleanly and in good health and they love her for it. Okay, definitely I, I will accept like I already need a hero, a second hero so I can move on faster, do the good stuff, the best of the ugly stuff. And she will take these guys, MK, and then we all will be moving towards this. <laughs> Uh, we'll be moving towards this position. I'll be moving, of course, uh, my main galley towards this position if possible. I can't. Uh, no? Yes? No? What the hell? I can't move him at all. What the hell? I don't know. Oh, we are frozen. It seems that we are stuck because of the frozen land of that witch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> we, we, we can't move because of her. Okay, we have to wait until this thing unfroses. Oh man, I'm freezes. That is, it's oh man, this is gonna be bad. That's okay. The frost witch screwed us over, but that's okay. We'll go with it. We're gonna go with it. Oh, we are. We were that close, really. Like, what the joke? That's okay. That's okay. Uh, I prefer to have another archer at least uh, to capture that and then move on towards the Julian. And hopefully, the archons don't do anything evil towards us. I'm gonna try and again go with the Archons and hope, just hope that she will be willing to um, negotiate uh, the alliance. Oh, she's a war. Oh, cool. War. Okay. Phobias. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm bored. Most things, if it's. Or what? Or is she? I have don't. I, I'm not getting here. Am I the. War? Oh, no. I can offer. Okay. Okay. I can offer war with Phobius if she goes with war with Julia and Alliance. Mm, uh, she's uh, okay. Phobius and Old Devourer. Well, you know what? If you were in war with Orcs, that would help. Uh, uh, no, she wouldn't go with that. Uh, oh well, nothing. Uh, she wants gold, maybe. Maybe she wants a little bit of gold. You want a little bit of gold? No. Okay. So nothing there yet. I guess diplomacy ain't gonna go with. I mean, I did choose maybe a better. I mean, I do remember choosing a diplomacy. I think to, that is the better relations. 
but that doesn't work it would seem <sighs> okay doesn't really matter we're gonna try this anyway uh, at least to do ourselves rape punch and burn Julia and all her children uh, get the Zeph firebird again and uh, that's it that's it I think that's it I have no idea if that's it okay yes we want to capture this because the orcs are dicks I'm gonna capture everything they have because we're awesome like that and let's see yeah we're moving here no we can't move because of this one bastard that's okay we're gonna be moving up here then or here though again I did misclick so anyway Okay, a battle. A battle commences, people. A battle commences here. Let's see if we can do this well. If not, we're kind of fucked if we lose our only great hero out there. So, again, concentrate all firepower onto the battle station. Oh, wait. Okay, I didn't know that they were... Okay, they, we were attacking the... For this is the first time. We're attacking the one of those guard posts, guard towers. And they actually do have... Okay, okay, so at least now they are total defensive, so that means I have to concentrate all, in, all my firepower on a man that actually can screw us over. And that is the archer, alone. Excellent. And there goes the only thing they have. Now I can just stand here and wait for them to attack us. Again, the fr again, I like that in the, the, the smaller resolution, I get a little bit closer to my units and I can see the more detail on them, as you can see the... The <laughs> frostings really look awesome, like Mongolians or something like that. So let's see, what can we attack? That, again, yes, we'll attack her. Ah! And conjure all of our firepower on those battle stations. That is, on that nymph that can seduce our units. And that's about it. Again, weird warrior. So I'm going to get him close to this position here. We can uh, throw magic, suffocate, or panic attack. Uh, fear or suffocate. I'm going to go with suffocate. And that's gonna be, mm, I think on him or him, someone who is actually strong enough. Actually, I'm gonna her. For in case, massive damage. There goes six damage uh, with suffocation. And I think, yeah, we can't do, we can't uh, use magic with Belendor. So Belendor doesn't have magical abilities. We'll stay with these guys where they are, and that's it. And hope. For the next turn, they don't do much. Okay, they're moving in. <laughs> now they're moving in. Okay, now get close. Please get close. I have like two cannons, massive cannons, and they can blow the shit out of them. Okay, now they're of course moving because they have no way of defending the, uh, that fort anymore. So I'm gonna just attack. Mm, first, attack. Oh, maybe. No, attack. Yeah. Okay, at least he hit him. So I do love that ability that you can actually accidentally hit someone. Hopefully you don't hit your own units, though. Uh, I'm gonna... Mm, now, the thing is, I'm gonna try attack him with my soldier. Uh, okay, use him as a awesome, awesome weapon of choice for the first shot. Missed the Glade Runner. For unknown reason, but at least the evil, evil woman is dead. <laughs> so I can construe Bellendor into attacking. Oh come on, Bellendor, you're a hero! Oh my God. Um, so Bellendor is screwing stuff up here, and that's bad. Okay, there goes the Glade Runner. Excellent, excellent stuff. Um, so I'm worried about Bellendor. Uh, he's not doing so well. Uh, can I go? Okay. Suffocate again. Uh, I'm gonna leave him because the Bellendor needs to defeat us. We need XP. Go with Suffocate because I mean we have the panic attack, which would actually be better if we utilize that and they just run away. But none of these units should be that problematic. Uh, so yeah, yeah, no units. Oh, oh, in my face like that, huh? That's okay, Bellendor, do your job. You're a fucking hero, for fuck's sake. Excellent. Unbelievable, we actually killed someone. <laughs> so there goes that. We almost lost our short thrower. That is the our archer. And who should get this kill? I'm gonna... No, he can't. Okay. Okay, he's using shield to defend himself, to see. What a dick. Okay, as you can see, we can definitely do something. And we missed him. Oh my god. 
Okay, we can move here because something has... I, did, I don't know if... Did I attack with... Yes, I did. Sorry, my, I did attack with him. And, of course, he used his points. Uh, I can try archery with this bastard here, but I think hitting these trees would not help. Or maybe not. Or maybe not. Okay, okay. Definitely using that sword. That is the, the shield. I love that look. Again, the game looks amazing. I love the look. That, I mean, just looks amazing. It's still a huge amount of detail. You can see up close. That That's what that's what Studi is all about. Can I utilize? Okay, I can definitely use this off. immediately finish this crap off. Thankfully, I can spam. I was thinking I only use on turns. That's okay. Capture that. Gain some experience for all my units, I would say. And above all, uh, we can capture that city. And I will go for that city immediately. So, House of Healing. Okay, heals all units in the park. Oh, and this is beautiful. I'll go there. Send my galley. Okay, the, my transport ship for pure sexiness towards this position here. Because we don't have the Frozen Witch. Or the Frost Witch. We can't really do much there. Um, yes, everybody move. I think we're in a perfect position to do everything else. Except this freaking transport. He can't move. And the next one will be attacking this. And I think it's going to be awesome. Okay, so as you can see, they fought over, get got those, that gold. These bastards are moving towards my city. Thankfully, you have some defenses there. Oh my god, they were like that close. <laughs> they were that close. Again, they're spamming a huge amount of forces there. Oh my god, they have, like, have a huge amount of forces. Maybe I have definitely screwed myself over and not building immediate, you know, immediate like massive amount of units. But that's okay. This is the first time we're doing this, so it's kind of blind. Well, it is actually blind. I never passed more than three turns in this game, or five turns, or something like that, so it's kind of new. So let's see, what are we building here? Nothing. Okay, now we're gonna be building some raiders. Uh, ballista or catapults? Uh, or yetis? That's three turns, no. We're in dire need of some uh, heavy units. And of course, that's gonna be the... You know, let's go with the shot thrower and some raider again. We have enough money, I would say, to spam at the moment, but I'm afraid that because of the upkeep might be overly too much, as you can see here. Treasury income, what you can see, upkeep 134 at the moment, not including the units I think that I just put on a build tab. Uh, here we have <laughs> a few archers, these bastards are moving with oh my god, with a few heroes, and I have my hero unit here. And I, okay, now I can move my galley, that is my transport ship, towards this position. I don't think I will be able to uh, uh, get on time to defend the city with my hero. This could be a big, uh, big uh, problem uh, for us. The orcs are on the move uh, very close. Now let's heal first and foremost all our units. Excellent. Uh, get our ship towards this position and hope that uh, the orcs do not attack the city at the moment we do have a few units defending this four units they have six units but good they have the veteran heavy cavalry and of course they have two uh, heroes which would be beautiful if we would actually kill these bastards that's a massive massive damage we will be doing onto the orc army uh, okay first let's take care of the little things in life uh, as you can see we can move Oh man, this is bad. I'm gonna move her here because this is where I'm gonna expect the transport get as close to these woods. She is good with woods, so she will not get a penalty. So we might get a little bit like like an inch in our ability to get close towards the orcs before them attack. But of course they can immediately attack, but they will probably go for the tower first because they're dicks like that. Yeah, yeah, that is. And they or maybe they just attack the city outside, you know, outright, that is, and that's it. Okay, let's see how this is gonna go. This could be, this could go very bad. Let's see if these units still have the enchantment. Yes, they do. So this could be, this could go very bad, or very good. Uh, again, the problem with the frogs can freeze. These guys have the, uh, the. Oh wait, fire weakness. Didn't we get the fire protection? Uh, yes, we did. There they go. Fire protection. Fire protection. Uh, frost fire weakness. But we have the fire protection with would cancel the fire weakness but we shall see how this goes let's go let's try it out i mean usually these things tend to be defended by really tough opponents okay so they are more like ranged units oh 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 this could be bad i could lose all these units oh boy 
Oh, these guys are, might be very dangerous, actually. Because I'm already down, like, with this fire weakness poison, one turn left, he's gonna die anyway. Ooh. Ooh, this could be bad. Oh, if that third oh, shot did something, would have been awesome. Uh, 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 come on. Oh, you dick. God damn, this is gonna be bad. Uh, oh, Wolf Riders. I'm gonna concentrate my Wolf Riders immediately. Can I... S wait, I have Panic Attack, a Suffocate. Panic Attack, oh. Panic Attack, Panic Attack on him. Hope it works. Excellent, Panic Attack. Should run around like a little bitch. Suffocate him. Can I? No? Yes? No? Come on. Try. Did I try? No. No, I can't. If you see my can't do that. What the hell does the thing... Poison strike, uh, poison protection, uh, water concealment, I have a summoned unit. Maybe I can't do much uh, against summoned units. Let's try, let, because probably not, actually. Yes, I guess because they're summoned units, they really, they're, they're not alive. Yes, they're not alive. Okay, they're magical creatures, so they cannot, you cannot suffocate these bastards. But I'm gonna do panic attack. No, can't do still. Mm hmm. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, or maybe I can do it in this turn. Let's see. It doesn't really matter. Move in. Uh, who can shoot? Can anyone shoot? She can shoot. Frost bolts. Uh, let's try it. And frozen. Okay. Beautiful. Attack. Actually, I'm gonna charge with these uh, wolf riders towards the frogs of pure awfulness and try to kill them. Yes, yes, the wolf riders will move towards the frogs, and hopefully they will be able to do some damage. And hopefully my raiders will be able to kill. Oh, no, not. Okay. Okay, he's frozen, but the, oh, this guy is not. Okay, he did not. Uh, uh, <laughs> he did not do fire attack. That is the burning three rounds. Uh, minus one HP a turn and minus two to attack so this guy is kind of kind of screwed here he is panicking the units will move about Randall being fear okay for one more round and frozen three rounds so all in all he's kind of screwed and that panic attack did not do much uh, yeah okay yeah see now I can't cast my panic attack on them Oh, maybe, oh, unit is already moved. Okay, so I guess only one. Okay, my bad, my bad. So I guess you, I can only use uh, sp spells once a turn. Okay, okay. Uh, did everyone move is the question. Uh, yeah, he can move a little bit more, it would seem. No? Okay. Okay, movement point zero, 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 zero. Okay, they're all moved. Okay. Did he poison him? I have no idea. Uh, I'm afraid to look, to be honest. I'm afraid to look at this. But, you know what, let's go both concentrate on killing him. Excellent job right there. The speed might give us an advantage here. Panic attack. Hits lurker. Lurker excellent. So it does work on, on someone, my bad. Uh, okay. You, because you're on fire, you might actually die anyway. So, okay. Excellent, he's dead, but he also got on fire because of attacking it. Kinda bad, if you ask me. So, ah, oh, fudge, I, I should have used that. He got, oh man, he got some nice stuff there now. Okay, use frost bolts against him. Okay, he's dead. All in all, kinda got screwed there. Mm, let's see. Where is my uh, hound of evil? Wolf rider, that is. Okay, so now we move all our units. Hope they kill that bastard there. I think I can't, of course, attack again. Okay. Oh, of course, he's panicking. Forgot that I did put panic, so he will just run around randomly like a little bitch. Totally cool. Excellent. So we won. We lost two units there. Uh, but that's okay. Now, if you go replay, I think you just look what happened you can't really replay the battle you just look at the freaking video like automatic bullcrap so at least we got a few units uh, we build the frost witch uh, monastery 
Oh, we're gonna concentrate on heavy army now because there is no joking anymore. Uh, Ballista, Catapult. I don't know which one does more damage, but uh, shoot Javelin. Let's see. Attack 16 damage, 12. Catapult, Her Boulder, and Her Firebomb. I guess Catapult is a better choice, uh, but I like my Wolf Riders. They okay they proved to be very good yeah 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 okay next thing we got some uh, raiders excellent uh, we're building the rest of them uh, the orcs have they attacked or am I again still uh, thinking that I have <laughs> moves that I have ended the turn that is okay that's it at least we got this Mm, beautiful beautiful now we can move in again towards our main uh, uh, castle our main city and then camp get some units from there and attack then uh, these oh man this is you know terrifying because these three units I do not know I know him I know these two <laughs> I have fought them before but they also have a huge army the second huge army there so I have no way I can actually do much I apply as three units here they're definitely doing better than me Mm, at least in the way of spreading forces. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna save here and and end this video here. Save like a little bitch again. Uh, let's go on queue. And I wish you all the best.